welcome back to my channel, Upcycle Clothing Designer. I'm Sunju, and I'm here to help you recreate your wardrobe from thrifted clothing, old clothes, and also fabric scraps. In last week's tutorial, I made this really cute stout inspired peplum top. This week, I wanted to continue along the same line by making a mini skirt from men's dress shirt. I chose a tonal light pink stripe pattern because I wanted to play around with the placement of the line motif throughout the skirt design, from the vertical to the horizontal. Hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. Let's get started! For this mini skirt from dress shirt tutorial, start by deconstructing the original dress shirt. Use scissors to detach the collar and neckband. Then cut along the arm seam to detach both sleeves. Use a seam ripper to remove the pocket square. Cut along the shoulder seams. Lastly, cut off the buttons and buttonhole placket. To make the ruffle hem, use the bottom of the original dress shirt. Fold the top in half lengthwise, measure 9 inches up from the bottom hemline. Draw a straight line across and cut. To add extra width to ruffle hem, use the sleeve of the original dress shirt. Cut off the cuff and open the sleeve by cutting along the seam. Fold the sleeve in half. Measure 5 inches from the folded edge and 11 inch to match the height of the skirt bottom. Cut along the line. To complete the extra ruffle hem, Double fold the bottom and hem with quarter inch top stitch. Attach the extra piece to the ruffle hem with top stitch. To add shirring to the ruffle hem, use a wide stitch width to stitch along the top edge. Gently pull on the back thread to gather the fabric and create bunching. To make the hip part of the skirt, use the top part of the original dress shirt, cut along the back yoke, and also separate the side seams. To make the front hip part of the skirt, use the chest pieces of the original dress shirt. Measure 8 inches up from the bottom edge on one side and measure 10 inches up from the bottom edge on the other side. Connect both points to give a slight curve to the front of the skirt. Copy the front hip part onto the other chest piece. To make the back hip part of the skirt, use the back piece of the original dress shirt. Fold the piece in half lengthwise and copy a front hip part onto the back of the shirt. To add shirring to the front hip part of the skirt, use a wide stitch width. 
Gently pull on the back thread to gather the fabric and create bunching along both sides of each piece. To add buttons to the hip part of the skirt, use the button and buttonhole placket of the original dress shirt. Measure the length and cut to match accordingly. Use a seam ripper to open up the seam on one side of the buttonhole placket. Insert one side of the front hip part into the open seam. Pin to secure and top stitch to attach the buttonhole placket to the front hip part. Do the same for the button placket. Use a seam ripper to open up the seam on one side of the button placket. Insert one side of the front hip part into the open seam. Pin to secure and top stitch to attach the button placket to the front hip part. If the buttons don't line up correctly, detach the buttons and realign with the button holes. To add shirring to the back hip part of the skirt, top stitch back pieces along the center back seam. Then use a wide stitch width to top stitch both side seams. Gently pull on the back thread to gather the fabric and create bunching along both sides of the back hip piece. To complete the hip part of the skirt, attach the front hip part to the back hip part with the right sides facing each other. Pin to secure and top stitch both side seams. To complete the skirt bottom, attach the hip part to the ruffle hem with the right sides facing together, pin to secure and top stitch. To make a waistband for the mini skirt, measure the length of the waistline. Use the sleeve of the original dress shirt to make 2 inches wide straps. Attach the sides of each strap together with top stitch. Fold the strap in half lengthwise and then top stitch both ends. To attach the waistband to the mini skirt, flip the strap inside out, slide the waistline into the folded waistband strap. Pin to secure and top stitch. Fold the strap over the waistline and finish the waistband with top stitch. To finish the mini skirt, add a button to the waistband and also a few extra buttons to the hip part. Mark the placement for the new buttonholes. Use the buttonhole stitch to outline the new button openings. Use a seam ripper to cut buttonholes in the fabric. Mark the placement for the new buttons. 
hand stitch the buttons in place to complete this mini skirt from dress shirt. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this upcycle tutorial helps to inspire you even more sewing ideas. If you like this upcycle tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please share your mini skirt from men's dress shirt with me on Instagram at upcycle clothing designer. Leave a comment below and share what project you want to see next. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!